Good morning, CCHS. Today is Friday, February 1st, and this is Channel Pack. This week's Student of the Week comes from the wrestling team. Here's Jesse with this Student of the Week. I'm here with Coach Tilly. So, Mr. Tilly, why have you chosen that Wilson Hornets as Student of the Week for wrestling? Well, I chose Wilson. Uh, I wanted to recognize uh, the JV wrestlers. Uh, they don't get to wrestle, but uh, a very few matches during the uh, year. And I thought Wilson would be one that would represent the uh, JV team pretty well, and that's why I chose him because they spend the they spend just as much time as the varsity wrestling uh, practicing and going to matches and everything. And I just thought uh, it'd be sort of nice to recognize the JV kids that put in just as much time but don't get quite as many wrestling matches as the varsity kids do. That's cool. Well, thank you so much. Hey, I'm here with Student of the Week Wilson Horn for wrestling. Wilson, how long have you been in wrestling? Um, since before Christmas break, this is just my first year. So you're a freshman? Yeah. That's cool. So what got you interested in wrestling? What made you want to start? Well, at f during football, Coach Tilly just walked up to me and said that he don't have a 103 to wrestle, so he pretty much just made me. <laughs> I guess that's good. So what do you like most about wrestling so far? Uh, just getting together after school every day and hang out with my friends, pretty much. And what are your goals for wrestling in the future? Um, I plan to wrestle next year. Maybe um, rest with varsity. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Now for Casey with sports. This week I had a chance to talk to Bo Holden with soccer information, and I also got a chance to catch up with Bo Williams and Blake Cato on information about baseball. Let's see that clip. Hey, guys. This is Bo Holden. Uh, we just had soccer tryouts, and I just wanted to let you know that they went well, and we're looking to do really well this year. You know, last year we went second round state playoffs, and we're looking to maybe go fourth or all the way this year. Hey, guys. Uh, just want to let you know, for baseball and everything, uh, tryouts start Monday, February the 4th. And I'm going to hand over to Mr. Bo here. Uh, hey, guys. You got past six out of six, and um, six out of six classes, that is. And there's going to be a lot of running, so don't forget tennis shoes. And a little baseball experience would be nice. But I'll see you all there. I also got a chance to talk to our new football coach, Coach Rush Price. Let's see what he had to say. And I'm here with the new football coach, Coach Rush. So what's your plans on the upcoming season at CCHS? Well, first, it's an honor to be here and uh, to be at Colquitt County High School. And uh, it's a rich tradition. Great football played in South Georgia. Um, our plans are going to be very simple, and let's try to improve our football program and try to get it to respectability again. Uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, I want people to be patient. Um, it's, we're going to spend a ton of time in our youth programs and middle school programs and our ninth and JV, and, uh, and then we're going to take the football team that we have this year, and we're going to work extremely hard to try to be the very best we can be. Okay, and what made you choose Cockwick County as your next school? Just a, I think the tradition, uh, South Georgia football is probably regarded as some of the best played in the United States of America, and I think that uh, it's a challenge. Uh, Colquitt County is always, uh, back in the 90s, was just a tremendous football power. Um, and it's, um, you know, riding the same breath with Valdosta Lounge and all those kind of schools. And I, I just think the tradition and, and the importance of the game of football in this area attracted me to this area, and I'm glad to be here. Up next, we have our future meteorologist, Matthew Thomas. Hello, I'm meteorologist Matthew Thompson. I'm going to tell you what the weekend's weather going to be. It's going to be severe weather on Friday. you best get that, that helmet ready or send them to take your, your skull because hail's going to get falling. There's going to be a flooding chance of rain, about 60% chance. And we're supposed to get some cold weather next week. And they can have a good day. Peace. Now for what we call World News with Matt and Tiffany. Thank you, Erin. I'm Matt. And I'm Tiffany, and this is your World News. A little kid, Jerome Barton, over in England, uh, has recently found a Q-tip that has been lodged in his ear for nine years. When he was younger, he was using a Q-tip, and he supposedly went deaf. Nine years later, he heard a pop in his ear and found that there was a Q-tip and in his ear, and uh, lawsuits are now pending. 
A few weeks ago, a grandmother, her daughter, and some of her grandchildren attempted to steal $900 worth of merchandise from a Target store in Lodi, just 35 miles south of Sacramento. A video showed them cutting open, open boxes and hiding MP3 players and digital cameras, DVDs, jewelry, and sports equipment in purses, bags, and a backpack. Linda Robinson, 59, and her 36-year-old daughter, Anna Fernandez, were charged Wednesday with bur burglary, grand theft, vandalism, and contributing to a delinquency of a minor. They were released from jail. If convicted, each could face eight years in prison. Fernandez's teenage sons, 17 and 14, were arrested on suspicions of grand theft and will face charges in juvenile court, authorities said. Another teen not related to the family also was arrested. An eight-year-old and a five-year-old were also among the family members detained. The two children were released to relatives and will not, will not face charges. It is not immediately, um, immediately clear if the family had a lawyer. All right, and the Super Bowl is this weekend, so uh, put your uh, little spirit wings on, float into a little fairyland, and uh, we're going to have a few reporters going out on the field and seeing who you think is going to win, and if you say Patriots, you're a loser. You can't say that. Go Giants. <laughs> New England, number one. Yeah. I want the Patriots to win. Here are Super Duper Weekend Troopers. Hey, I'm Timothy. I'm Jeremy. I'm Jerry. We're the Super Duper Weekend Troopers with some weekend news. The location of prom was recently voted on by juniors and seniors, and prom can be held at Expo site. February 5th is Super Tuesday when 24 states will vote on presidential candidates. The sign for driver's ed during February or March, call 229-217-4185. 229-217-4185. Classes are 6.30 to 9.30, including six hours of driving and observation. You might want to check that out. The top box office movies were Meet the Spartans, Rambo, 27 Dresses, Cloverfield, and Untraceable. Don't forget to sign up for Mysteries CCHS. This year's winner will receive a $500 scholarship. Next week, talk to Chord students to buy tickets to see Filler on the Roof next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's choir. Saturday. That's choir. Choir, choir yeah. not Chord. Sure. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lastly, there's an art and music talent showcase sponsored by Kewatkins yeah. Club, Mark Swing, and C Choir Art Kiwanis. Band Kiwanis. Teachers. Kiwanis. For more information, be good and we'll see you Monday. Choir Kiwanis. We're here with the director of Fill on the Roof, Mr. Kern. Mr. Kern, can you tell us a little bit about the Fill on the Roof? Tanner would be glad to. Uh, the production is going to begin, see, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7th and 10th, February 7th and 10th. The uh, show starts at 8 o'clock. I believe tickets are $10 for adults, but $7 for students. It's a cool show, Tanner. It's set in uh, Russia in 1905. So we have the Russians going around, actually Jewish Russians. And um, it's about family life, a mom and a dad trying to raise five girls in Russia in 1905 and there are all sorts of things they go through by trying to get married and all sorts of things, having boyfriends, uh, a lot of dancing, a lot of singing, uh, a lot of humor actually. They tell a lot of jokes on each other so it's, uh, it's a fun show and I think the students have had fun. I hear it's very sarcastic. Is this true? Sarcasm? Sarcasm? No, it would never be sarcastic. Yes, it's, there's quite a lot of sarcasm so if you enjoy that kind of humor, come on down. It's a good show. Thank you so much, Mr. Kern. Thank you, Dad. That's all for Channel Pack. Hope you have a great day at Clark County High School. And please remember to silence your cell phones. Um, wait. Huh? Super Duper Weekend Troopers with some weekend news. This ain't for the weekend. Now for what we call World News with Matt and Casey. No, Matt and Tiffany. Tiffany. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, um, February f Rerun. Rerun it. Are we starting? Okay. Ready? I gotta 